Hi, my name is Rachel Nolan, and this is my presentation on safe schools for AEP 880. So the summary of the um, four articles I read about bullying in schools um, is as follows. So when students feel safe and respected at school, their mental health and academic performance improve. Um, teachers should be kind of at the forefront of this, working along with administrators to prevent bullying in schools. Um, Teachers can start that by creating a caring and inclusive environment, um, decorating the classroom in a calming fashion, neat and organized. If kids know where to look for things and what their classroom is, it's a safer space. Establishing classroom rules and norms together as a class um, really helps with the kids' buy-in and then providing daily agendas so the kids know exactly what is expected of them. Um, teachers could teach active listening, self-advocacy, respect for one another. And then always making learning relevant so the kids are um, really buying into the teaching and not um, being distracted and looking for ways to cause trouble. Teachers should always focus on building strong relationships with their kids um, so the kids trust them to tell them if something's going wrong um, and like them enough to respect them in their classroom. And then students should feel that their teachers believe in them. Um, they really should be able to ask a teacher if they believe in them and the teacher says yes. Um, so this ties into standard C, um, numbers two through five. They all describe skills of a school leader and how they understand all these things and know how to implement changes in their school. Um, so some bullying prevention tips um, from the articles that I read are to first gather data about bullying at the school site. So know what's going on, where it's happening, um, who it's happening to, and what kind of bullying it is. And then maintaining a positive school environment is really key to preventing bullying. Um, you can create a task force or a team that establishes the policies and procedures and then follows through if bullying still does happen. Um, teaching students about bullying and positive behaviors can really help so they understand what is bullying and what is expected of them at school. Um, we can increase adult supervision in problem areas such as the um, playground at recess or in the hallways during passing period. Um, getting staff and students or uh, and parents on board is really important. And then intervening constantly, um, consistently, appropriately, and ensuring cultural competence is also um, a great way to prevent bullying. So some data about bullying in schools. Um, it shows that it happens most often in the classroom and in the hallways. Um, the data given didn't talk about cyberbullying, so I wonder how old it is because Teaching in a high school, I think most of the bullying that happens here is um, through social media. Um, but regardless, in the classroom and the hallways, teachers are going to have a big impact on stopping um, the bullying behavior. Uh, the most common types of bullying are name calling and teasing and then um, spreading rumors. If bullying is happening most often in the classroom, that means the teachers are the ones that can step in and um, set those expectations and follow through and help stop it. Uh, bullying in the hallways can definitely be limited if we have adults in the hallway during passing periods. So if teachers just stood at their door and kind of watched as the kids are passing, um, that would really cut down on bullying in the hallways. And then a school-wide code of conduct that's made explicit to the students, um, plus um, school-wide bullying prevention activities and trainings um, can also help. So if all those things occur, so Teachers are teaching about bullying in their classroom. Um, they're learning how to intervene and when and what to do. Um, and then also kind of standing at their doors during passing periods, watching the hallways, um, setting a school-wide code of conduct, all that stuff should decrease uh, most of the bullying behaviors, um, specifically name calling, teasing, and physical bullying. I think spreading rumors and online bullying that um, adults don't see might not decrease as much. Um, it could decrease more when Students feel comfortable enough to talk to their teachers when it's happened to them. And then here are my references. And that's all. Thanks for watching.